Welcome to our prayer chain from Cardinal Newman Catholic School in Luton. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week we are celebrating the great feast of Pentecost. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. When Pentecost Day came around, the apostles were all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise which filled the entire house in which they were sitting and something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem for every nation under heaven, and this sound they all assembled, each one bewildered to hear men speaking in their own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speaking are Galileans. How has it happened that each of us can hear them in our own native language? We hear them preaching in our own language about the marvels of God. Hi, my name is Oscar. I belong to St. Joseph's Parish and I chose Lucas as my confirmation name. Hi, my name is Sean. I belong to Holy Family Parish and I chose James as my confirmation name. Hi, my name is Jessica and I belong to St. Martin de Forest Parish and I chose Catherine as my confirmation name. Hi, my name is Larry. I belong to St. Mary's Church and I chose Christopher as my confirmation name. I chose to be confirmed to be closer to God overall, since I wanted to be to fully be enveloped in the love and grace of God. I chose to be confirmed because I wanted to continue my faith and become a full member of the Catholic Church. During preparation, we were we were asked what we wanted to become and why we wanted to be confirmed. We also learned different parts of the Mass and what each and what each part of the Mass meant. We were asked why we wanted to be confirmed and what we would do after being confirmed. We also learned new prayers and what each prayer meant and how to spread God's word. At first we were being taught to not fear the confirmation and to remember that there is no mistakes that can be made. We rehearsed prayers and researched what names we would like to be known by in the Catholic Church. I'm looking forward to... Uh, when I have my confirmation, I am looking forward to taking communion, as I haven't had it in person since COVID struck due to my dad being vulnerable. So, on the day of my confirmation, while being confirmed, it felt as if the Holy Spirit had come down on me, and it was a very good experience. At first, when I arrived at the first meeting, I was scared anxious that I would be judged and laughed at during the confirmation for my mistakes. However, I gained the braveness I required during the event, and it reminded me how worth it was learning all I did, and never in my life have I been so proud to be a Christian. Our prayer today is a traditional prayer to the Holy Spirit, which has been used for over 1,200 years in the Church. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle them in the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.